Hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Math with Dr. War. Today we're going to evaluate a function. Now when you're given a function, it's written like this. This function here is f of x. Now this does not mean f is multiplying by x. It is read f of x. Now the x here is your input value. That is what you put into the function. And this is our function here, 3x plus 1 which we call our output value. Now, whenever you're given a function and you have to evaluate, all you do is replace your x by the numerical value that they want you to evaluate for. Next, you're just going to apply PEMDAS. Let's begin. Given the function f of x equals 3x minus 5, find f of 4. So I need to find f of 4. So here's my f, and I'm going to make my 4 red so that you have an idea of what I'm talking about. So my 4 is red. Now again, wherever you see x, right here, you're going to replace it by 4. So your first step, I'm finding f of 4. So wherever I saw x in my function, I replaced it by the number 4. Next, you're going to use PEMDAS. Can we multiply? Yes. So we're going to multiply 3 times 4, which will give us 12. And now we're going to subtract 5. And 12 minus 5 is 7. And you're finished. F of 4 has a value of 7. Let's try that again. Now, notice my function here is w of t equals t minus 5. Your function notation can be any letter in the alphabet. However, f is the most popular used function notation. But I always tell my students there are 26 letters in the alphabet and they can use any letter they want to represent function. So here I'm using w. w for war. So we want to find w of negative 4. So I want to find w of negative 4. Again, wherever I see t in my output value, I'm going to replace it by negative 4. So this will be negative 4, take away 5. And then here, we don't really need PEMDAS. This is just a simple subtraction of integers. Negative 4, take away 5. My answer is negative 9. I have p of x equals negative x minus 2 and I have to find p of negative 6. So again, I have my p of negative 6 here. Wherever I see x, I'm going to replace it by negative 6. But notice in my output value, I have a negative and then x. So I have to put the negative first. What is x? It's negative 6. And now I have to subtract 2. Remember, two negatives gives you a positive, so this is 6 take away 2, and this is an easy subtraction. Your answer is 4. A lot of my students get really scared when they see fractions. Let g of x equals 1 over 5x plus 2, and I must evaluate g of 10. So again, here's my g of 10, and wherever I see x, I'm going to replace it by 10. So this is 1 fifth. Here's my 10 plus 2. Now, this is a fraction. I'm going to make this a fraction, put it over 1. Now, remember when you're multiplying fractions, we multiply straight across. Therefore, 1 times 10 is 10. 5 times 1 is 5 plus 2. I'm going to divide. 10 divided by 5 is 2 plus 2. And my answer is 4. Now remember the task test has two parts. One part, calculators are allowed. Second part, non-calculator. So if you're on the task test and this question appeared in the calculator section, once I did my substitution, this is what I would place in my calculator. So I'll get my calculator. 1, fraction function. 5 to the right, open parentheses, 10, let's close the parentheses, and finally add 2. Notice I got my answer of 4. In this problem, 
we have to find a value of h of b equals 3b squared minus 2b plus 1 when b has a value of negative 3. So h, my b is negative 3. So I have 3. Again, wherever you see b, we're going to replace it by its numerical value. Here I have to square b, so I'm going to square 3. Minus 2 times b, which is negative 3, and plus 1. Now, if you were on the calculator section, once you've done your substitution, you'll get your calculator, and we would enter 3, open parentheses, notice down here is your negative, 3, close the parentheses, we need to square, subtract 2, open the parentheses, negative 3, close, and then finally add 1. And we hit enter, and our answer is 34. That's if you were on the calculator section. However, if this was non-calculator, we're going to apply PEMDAS. Do we have any parentheses? No. Do we have exponents? Yes. So this will be 3. Negative 3 squared would give us a positive 9 because your exponent is an even number. Next step, we would multiply. 3 times 9 is 27. Subtraction. Now 2 times negative 3 would give me negative 6. And I'm adding 1. Always remember when you have these neighboring negative signs, they come together and form a positive. So this is 27 plus 6 plus 1. And when we add 27 plus 6 plus 1, we're going to get a value of 34, just like what we got with the calculator. Now, sometimes your function comes in the form of a word problem because we all know the task force love word problems. Now, this is a simple one. The profit from selling S number of t-shirts is described by the following function. So your function is P of S equals 8S minus 500. And the question was simple. We just need to find P of 70. So wherever I see S, I'm going to replace it by 70. Now again, apply PEMDAS. So I'm going to multiply first. 8 times 70 is 560. And I'm subtracting 500. And that's an easy subtraction. 560 minus 500. My answer is is 60. This problem over here is quite lengthy. The height of a golf ball hit into the ear is modeled by the equation. So there's our equation. Let's write it. H equals negative 16 t squared plus 48 t, where h represents the height in feet and t represents the number of seconds that have passed since the ball was hit. They want to know what is the height, so we're finding h, of the ball after two seconds. This two seconds is our t. Wherever we see t in our equation, we're going to replace it by 2. So this will be negative 16. This will be 2 squared plus 48 times 2. If you were on the calculator section, after you've substituted your value for t, we would take our calculator and we will just put it in. Negative 16, 2, we must square it, plus 48, open the parentheses, let's insert 2, close the parentheses, enter. Notice our answer is 32. But if we had to do it manually, we're on the section where you cannot use your calculator. Exponents are first, so this will be negative 16. 2 squared is 4 plus 48 times 2. Next, we would multiply. Negative 16 times 4 would give me negative 64 plus 48 times 2 is 96. 
Remember with your integers, when the signs are different, you subtract. So if you went on the side to subtract this, 4 from 6 is 2, 6 from 9 is 3, my answer, 32. So it's very important that you can add, subtract, multiply, and divide your integers. I hope this lesson has been helpful. Good luck on your task examination, and please like, subscribe, and share.